So today we're going to be testing the braking powers of four different vehicles versus various road surfaces. And folks, if they miss, they're going to end up with spikes right in their face. Also, stay tuned because we're going to be doing a lava round at the end. So let's jump in. All right. So we're back with another Spieler map and we're going to see how different materials affect braking in different cars here in BMG Drive. So I have quite a few set up here. We're going to skip a couple of these because some are fairly similar, but we have stuff like mud uh, you have like a heavy mud here there's rock a uh, wet road we have ice this is an acid by the way this is like a gummy material i think that spieler used on the christmas map we have water and then stay tuned because obviously uh, we have lava so real quick i just want to show you guys how this works this is uh, the test that has zero change in material it is just strictly road so we're going to drive down one of four vehicles i've got a sunburst we have a d-series a shintilla and we have the t-series remake and yeah i'm not going to change anything i'm not going to turn off the traction or uh the stability now on the t-series i'll probably stick it in high gear uh, but other than that we're going to be just using the defaults we're going to see how the thing breaks and see how the materials affect it. Now, obviously, the sunburst, we're not moving too fast. Uh, I think the brakes are going to be fairly efficient. They might try to lock up. Actually, the ABS should prevent that. And here we go. We're braking. And oh my goodness, this thing might be totally screwed. That's about the 150 mark. It took that thing a lot to slow down. Now, you would probably think to yourself, oh man, the, uh, the Shintilla's got it. But you got to think, that thing's going to be probably going like double or triple the speed as that sunburst when it hits those materials. So yeah, comment down below, which vehicle would you take in this test if you actually had to strap into one of these and trust the brakes? Also, hit the thumbs up button if you wanna see a modded episode with this where we use ridiculous mod cars. Okay, here we are at the first material. We're gonna do a run here. This is just gonna be, I think it's just dirt. Uh, we'll see if it's more efficient. I wanna say that it actually might grab a little bit better uh, than the road did, uh, but we'll have to see. I might just slide off. All right, are we gonna meet our spiky death? Okay, I see it coming up. Are we gonna hit the brake zone right? I'm hoping we are, and oh my goodness. And brakes! Okay, you know, that felt, oh, that was pretty similar. The only problem is, you know, we kind of have a little bit of a baseline for this particular vehicle. We stopped, what, was it 20 meters sooner? <laughs> All right, so the sunburst, uh, we're at the 180. We're gonna just set this vehicle over here and let's try the others. All right, so real quick, uh, this is a little note here. I do have baselines for every vehicle. So we're in the D series. This thing actually uh, was a bit better than the sunburst. It stopped right around the 120 mark, but I don't think we were going quite as fast. Uh, so we're gonna see this one. Uh, the Shintilla was kind of funny. I actually ran it on the road and it took almost to the 280 mark. Like it almost went off the other end because of the brakes not being able to slow it down because of how fast it was going. And then the T-Series, uh, that thing was right around the 150 mark. Uh, so just keep that in mind for the baseline test. Okay, is this gonna be more efficient here? Here we go, three, two, one, brakes! Okay, yo, this one's grabbing a little bit better, but fairly similar uh, to its actual run. I feel like it actually did a little bit better than that sunburst did. So if it's 20 different, as far as the meters, this thing's probably gonna go off the end here. Also, I don't know how the engine starved of oil. I've barely done anything. Oil is overheating. Connection, wait, what? I just slammed on the gas. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think we're fine here. Oh my goodness, this thing is so fast. All right, what's it gonna do when we hit the brakes on just dirt here? Oh, is this thing gonna eat the spikes? Here we go, brakes, and... You know what? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. <laughs> oh no, I think this car is screwed for the rest of the test. Okay, here we go with the T-Series run. What do you guys think is gonna happen here? So I did notice that this T-Series, when you slam on the brakes, all the back axles, they, everything just locks up back there. Like there is no ABS. It's not gonna try to prevent itself from doing that. So you gotta keep that in mind. It's gonna slide a little bit. I feel like the back end slides out uh, just the way the brakes work, but oh my goodness. I, I feel like this one's actually gonna be good because of how heavy it is. I'll say you gotta think, the brakes are designed to stop, like, help stop trailers full of stuff. So they've got to be pretty good, right? Okay, here we go. Getting ready to hit the brakes. And brakes. Oh. See how they lock up there? Oh, but the weight is carrying it. 
This was a massive difference in its control test. This control test, this thing overshot it by like almost 100 meters. Oh, buddy. <laughs> All right. Is the D-Series going to be the king of braking here? We're about to figure that out. I'm going to do the mud run, and then I think I'm going to skip the rocks and head to the... Uh, Maybe the water over there. Okay, we're gonna start with the losers of the round this time. So here we go with the scintilla. Let's go ahead and hit the, the gas. I have very low expectations for this. You know, I must say, I feel like the mud is gonna grab the vehicle a lot faster, and maybe it is gonna assist with the braking, or we're just gonna slide off and hit a wall. I'm not really sure what's gonna happen here with this vehicle. I mean, they have mighty brakes on it, but look how fast we're moving. All right, get ready, and brakes. Oh, dude, it helped so much. Deep mud definitely helps with brakes. <laughs> All right, let's pull this off. Well, you got spared for at least a round, but oh my goodness, we're going to go up against a, uh, a wet road here uh, next, so I'm pretty sure this thing's going to slide off again. Okay, here we go. Heavy vehicle, thick mud. I think we're stopping pretty quick here, and brakes. Oh, it's okay. Oh, we're locked up. Hold on. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. Okay. Not as quick as I thought it was going to be. Uh, looks like we're going to be at the, let's call it the 210 mark. I might have let off the brakes a little bit there. Okay. Here we go with the two stars of the show, the D-Series and the Sunburst. How do you think this one's going to handle it? I don't think there's any danger of hitting the spikes on this one. I feel like, if anything, this is probably one of the best materials for, uh, for braking. It not necessarily staying like straight forward. This thing does throw you sideways, but uh, we'll see here uh, with what the truck does. And brakes. Oh my, what just flew off the back of this thing? Uh, oh, that Chintilla was going probably three times as fast. And look at the difference in brakes here. All right, so is the Sunburst going to be king of braking here in the mud? I feel like this one's going to turn out pretty good. And brakes. Oh, uh, dude, it's sliding way more. Is it because of how light it is? Wait, that is almost a dead heat. So yeah, I think as far as consistency, the truck's got it. The sunburst definitely overshot uh, its previous mark. It wasn't bad though. Uh, the Chintilla was the most impressive in the mud. Okay, here we go. So the T-Series is gonna go first here in this round. We have the Slick Road. So how do you think this thing's gonna fare in here? I feel like the whole fact that it's gonna lock up, it's gonna slide for a long time. Like it does not have any sort of assist as far as the brakes here. Okay, here we go up to the brake zone here and brakes. Oh, it's sliding, it's sliding. Come on, baby. Come on, try to keep it straight. I'm gonna try to straighten it out here. Oh my goodness, it used Oh, past the 300. That's probably like the 340 mark. Oh, we are about, what, 10 feet away from death? Okay, scintilla round. So here's a question. Like, are these performance brakes going to actually help in the rain? I don't know. We're going to be going awfully fast, but we'll see. And brakes. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Come on. Come on. Oh, grit my teeth in. <laughs> What the? Okay, that was almost completely even with the T-Series. Maybe nobody's gonna meet their maker on this round. Okay, here we go. Sunburst, brake test, and brakes. Oh. oh, oh, it's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Those brakes work so good. Okay, D-Series test, and brakes. Oh, it's so good. How is this thing out breaking the sunburst? Now, granted, there is a difference in speed, but it's still, this one feels so efficient under its braking. Like, what is doing that compared to the car? I mean, obviously, the supercar is just, it's super fast, and the T-Series is a diesel. Well, those are self-explanatory. I'm a little confused by why the D-Series seems to be doing better than the sunburst. So, we are ready for our next material. So, we have two, or actually, I think it's three different ice ones. I think one's actually snow. Uh, so I think we're going to do an ice one, skip the middle one, because I think it's just a change in how slick it is, and we will do a snow test. Now, I feel like the snow test, it's going to be a mixture of grabby and slick. Like, my brain can't comprehend what's going to happen in the snow. I think I know what's going to happen in the ice, though. All right, we got the T-Series versus the ice. I think we're about to meet our maker here, and brakes. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Nope. Keep it straight. Keep it locked. Keep it locked. No! 
Oh, that was right into the driver's seat. So I think this one is absolutely screwed here. Like, it's a supercar. Not very often you see people driving these in ice. Uh, I mean, sometimes they do. Rich people like to do burnouts in ice, at least. It's kind of fun uh, to see. But yeah, I just, I don't think this is going to work well. Brakes! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, oh. <laughs> Impact detected. <laughs> you don't say? All right, here we go in the sunburst. What is going to happen? I really look forward to doing this with modded vehicles. And another thing we might test. Here we go, brakes. Uh, uh oh. Come on. I have faith that you can do this. Please stop before death. Stop before death. Stop before death. No! All right, that's uh, three dead. All right, here we go with the D series. So I think one way, besides just, you know, the fun things that we're doing now in the modded vehicles, another thing I want to test out is getting just one vehicle. Probably let you guys decide which one it would be. And we'll test out different brake styles uh, from like your standard brakes, maybe like a sports set, a race set, and just see truly how efficient uh, the better brake systems are, especially with the different materials. Uh, so I've got other plans. Probably got a couple videos on this map. Uh, but here we go with the D series. Let's see what this has got. I think it's gonna work. I think this is gonna be the one that survives. Okay, here we go and brakes. Oh, buddy, stop, 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 stop. All right, we've all died. Uh, I feel like we are gonna survive. Well, I say that this one might be a little bit more unpredictable. Uh, it might launch the vehicle. I don't know if this is like a soft snow where it's like mud under, or if it's gonna be like kind of like the icy one we're about to figure it out though uh, you'll definitely get to see the difference in materials if we don't die here because all of the cars died in the last round on straight up ice you know i just thought about it there's that mod for the parachutes for the drag cars i wonder if parachutes would help in tests like this say you're going just way too fast you could deploy a parachute all right here we go with the snow and brakes oh it's so much better there's so much i mean it's still slick like, it's taking forever for this to slow down. We're going to go with about the 190 mark. Okay. Truck. Doing well. I feel like, if I had to make a guess here, based on what we've seen so far, I'm going to guess that the Sunburst is going to be about at the 210 mark. Uh, the D series, I'm going to go with the 240. And I'm going to say the, I think the Scintilla will be at the 300. I don't think anybody's going to die this round. Okay, sunburst time. Let's see what this thing's got. Uh, am I going to be right in my guess that it's going to be about 20 meters behind uh, the D series here and brakes? Yep. I, I think it's going to be, oh, on the money? No, not on the money. A little further. Uh, well, quite a bit further than I expected. I was thinking about a 20 meter jump. Uh, it is at the 240. So, yeah, I was guessing right around the 210. About 30 meters over, but I mean, at least I knew that this thing was definitely going to end up uh, behind the truck. Okay, here we are in the snow. Where is this T-Series going to stop? Uh, let's go brakes. Wait, is it going to be more efficient than the sunburn? Oh, no, it's sliding. It's sliding. It's sliding. 280. 300? 300? Looking like the 300 mark. No, we're still slowing down. Like, I got it locked. Uh, I would say about close to 325. We almost... I think the 325 mark might be the road. Uh, based on what I could tell here. And maybe 375. Or maybe that's 350. Uh, on the, uh, on the spikes there. So, any chance that this thing makes it? Like, I, I feel like we are... We're done here. This thing is not going to be able to slow down in the snow. Oh, buddy. And... Bricks! Oh my goodness. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, you can't do it. Oh! <laughs> this poor supercar. You know, we should do a supercar showdown. You think like the Bolide or maybe like a Lamborghini? You think it's got better brakes? Uh, alright, well, we're on to the gooey stuff. Alright, since the Chantilla failed with flying colors, uh, we're gonna... We're gonna attempt it first, which by the way... Uh, I'm gonna go and point it out one more time. There is a second section that is just a much sooner braking zone. There is no spiky finish. There are so many different ways to test brakes here in BMG Drive on this map, which it'll be on Speeler's Patreon. Okay, this is your time to shine, supercar. You got this. It's gonna be green. I think it's gonna be grippy. Watch it be slime and it just goes straight forward. I didn't think about that. I thought Speeler said something about it being the same material as the gummy road, but. Uh oh. Oh, dude, it ripped something out for... It ripped the whole underside off this. It gripped. 
So 220. All right, so I'm already wrong. You can see it's still sliding. It's slidey, but it stops. It completely ripped off the underside of this vehicle. Okay, here we go with the T-Series. Let's go brakes. What's going to happen? Oh, dude. Wait, what the heck? It's got to be weight. Weight save this thing. I mean, it's still sliding, but I, I don't think it's going to get any better. Uh, oh, it actually went in reverse a little bit there. Yeah, it's just going to slowly move forward. We're going to call that the 70 mark. Uh, yeah, so having weight on the slime or the gummy materials. I don't know if I'd lick that. Okay, Sunburst versus the gooey stuff. Uh, are we gonna beat the T-Series? I don't think so. I think the T-Series might win this round. And brakes. Oh, yeah, we're gonna slide past it. Yeah, we're gonna end up between the, uh, between the supercar and the T-Series. We're gonna call it the, I would say about the 110 is when it really slowed down. Like, it's gonna obviously keep moving. Like, there's no actual, like, stopping on this one without probably kicking it in reverse. Uh, but yeah. About what I expected with this one. So, question is, is the D-Series going to beat the T-Series, or is the diesel going to have its day here in this material? All right, here we go with the D-Series. What is going to happen here? And brakes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's going to slide beyond the sunburst. What the heck? All right, that was a little unexpected. I, I do love watching how different vehicles react to different road surfaces. Uh, honestly, it seemed like the D-Series was dominating, but yeah, that was pretty impressive by the T-Series. So here we go to the next material. This is water. Oh, buddy. Oh, I think it's going to destroy itself. Like, I'm going to go with that prediction here. And brakes. Oh, okay. That might have been one of those moments where you probably might have broke your back with the how violent the stop was in instant, but... That's pretty good. That's, we're gonna call that uh, the 30, 35 mark. All right, what's the T-Series gonna do here? Is it gonna be an instant stop or is it gonna keep going and breaks it? Okay, uh, yeah, let's go with about the 55. Uh, well, maybe 60, we'll go with the 60 on this one. So far, I would say the water has been the least destructive, which is surprising because I thought these things would rip themselves apart when they hit the water. Uh, but the vehicles are holding up really well. It just immediately pins itself to the bottom. Uh, I think the uh, the Scintilla did it the best. Uh, we're about to see with the Sunburst not carrying a ton of speed here. Uh, I think it's going to take longer to slow down, though, than the supercar. So here we go. Uh, looking for my braking zone. And... Brakes! Oh my goodness, this one glides! <gasps> oh, so it's like the water skipping map that we have now. Like, that acted... Oh, wait. Hold on. What does that mean for the D-Series? Uh, maybe heavy or if your arrow points you straight down for downforce is better. Yeah, I feel like the D-Series isn't going to fare much better. This is more like water skipping at this point. All right, here we go with the D-Series. What is it going to do? Is it going to skip or sink? And... Oh, it skips, but not as much. And there it goes. It has stopped. Not bad. <laughs> I guess the Sunburst... Uh, yeah, that's the only one that really was gliding across the water there. Uh, so here we go. Oh man, we got the lava. I don't even know what's gonna happen here. The vehicle might just instantly burst into flames. I'm gonna go out here on a limb and say that I believe the scintilla is gonna probably win this round. Uh, I don't know quite what's gonna happen, if it's gonna melt or just catch on fire, but or also, is it slick? Oh, it's lava. I feel like it would grab you instantly. Uh, maybe I'll be wrong about this. Maybe the T-Series, maybe all that weight uh, would be better for this one. Okay, here we go. Lava time breaks. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're on fire, but wait. <laughs> that actually looked kind of cool. All right, so we're going to call that about the 65 meter mark. Real quick, just look on the other side. I feel like we're going to see something very similar to the water. Uh, I feel like maybe just move everybody up. So I, I feel like maybe, I don't know, maybe this scintilla is going to break the soonest on this one. Uh, we could be seeing almost a mirror of the last one. Uh, maybe just a difference of 10, 20 meters. Okay, I've repositioned the truck. It is in the right spot now. All right, here we go with the supercar. What do you guys think is going to happen here? Is it going to instantly stop? Or maybe is this one going to glide? Oh, we are booking it here. All right, I see like smoke up there. Is that smoke off the D series? I think it is. Oh, buddy, and bricks. Oh, it skipped. It skipped. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's our first flip of the episode, surprisingly. All right, well, I guess we're gonna give it right around the 140 mark. <laughs> oh, it dug right in. 
All right, Sunburst versus the Lava. Boom, breaks. Oh, it's skidding, and all right. We're going to call that the 80 mark. Uh, it is now bursting into flames. It's fine. Everything's everything's cool here. Okay, final test. We have the T-Series. What do you think is going to happen? I think it's going to go straight down. Maybe this is going to be the best one. All right, come on, baby. Get ready to hit those brakes. <laughs> the D-Series just on fire over there, and brakes. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I knew it was going to instantly stop there. Uh, oddly enough, the rear section of this thing is floating. All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to let you guys come up with your own conclusions. Which car do you think won this competition? And what was your favorite material? We'll see you guys next time.